Wix newsletter tutorial, how to create a newsletter on Wix. First, you need to visit the Wix.com and log in or sign up. So here I will go ahead and log into my account. So just give me a moment. All right, so I already logged into my account and these are the website that I created before inside my Wix account. And of course, to create a new website, you can just click here, create new site. No worries because they have tons of templates that you can choose from whatever your business. So I will just go ahead and pick one of the website that I created here before. So let me just go ahead and make use of this one. Click the select and edit site. And here is my home dashboard. So over here, you can go ahead and click the edit site button located here on the right hand side, as you can see. So I will click edit site. All right, finally, here is our website. So this is the sample site that I created before. So over here, we can add a newsletter and we have different option to add a newsletter. We can add a newsletter here inside our page as a section on this side or you can uh, add section down over here or, or wherever you want to add your newsletter inside your account. But for today's video, what I will be showing to you guys is a newsletter that will pop up from your website when someone visited your website. If you are familiar with other website, when you visit their website after a couple of seconds, like 50 seconds, or after one minute, there is a newsletter that will pop up inside the website asking you to subscribe to their newsletter or to provide your information for them to send you a newsletter. So that kind of newsletter is what we will be doing today. So to do that, by the way, before I will show you that one, let me go ahead and also show you the other way that you can add a newsletter here. If you want to add that one here inside your website and not a pop up, then you can just go here, add some section, and then down here you can select the form. All right, so over here, as you can see, we can add some form here inside our website. So you can add it as a section. So here you can name this one as a newsletter and you can customize this kind of form. So to add a pop-up newsletter, we will just go ahead and click the add elements. And then we will just go ahead and click the interactive. And over here, as you can see, we have the like boxes. So these are the boxes that will pop up inside your website after a couple of seconds that your visitor spent time inside your website and asking them to subscribe to your newsletter. So here you have different kind of like boxes, like you have the welcome, and these are the templates that you can choose from over here. And also they have the subscribe, uh, the promotion and for the contact. So let's go ahead and select the subscribe. And then we will just choose a template here. So for example, this one over here. And let's just wait for the load here. So this is the light box. So after a couple of seconds, this light box will show up. It will ask your visitor to subscribe. And also they have an option to close this if they don't want to subscribe, but it will depends on you. There are some website that they really require you to subscribe for them to let you read all the information or use their website. So over here, you can change the text. So just click on it and then you can change this one, subscribe. And then over here, of course, you can also change this one over here. As you can see, you can also change the text settings over here. If you want to change the size of the font, then you can also drag this one and also change the font style and also the themes. And of course, you can also change the image here. 
So you just need to click on this image over here. And as you can see, we have the change image. So for this one, don't click this because if you will click this, you will lose your light back. So instead, just drag this one down here so that you can change everything inside your light box. So here, as you can see, we can change the image or you can also crop the image to just click change image. So the good thing about the Wix is that you are able to upload your own image or you can also search for a different image here. So for example, for jewelry, and let's just wait for the search here. So as you can see, we have now different jewels here that we can make use of. And as you can see, this one with dollar sign, it means that you need to buy it. So let's just go ahead and make use of this. It's from the Unsplash images and it's free to use. So you can just go ahead and preview this one and also you can crop and edit this if you like to. So I will just double click this one for that to add inside our subscribe newsletter. So over here, your visitor can provide their email. So here, just go ahead and click the settings. And over here, we have the name of our light box. So what the light box name, you can just go ahead and rename this one, subscribe newsletter. So something like that. And then automatically display light box on pages. Yes. All right. And which pages is it on? So already we add this one in our home page. So over here, you cannot check the home because this one is automatically add inside your home page. So you can only add one light box per page. So here, we if you want this one to also be available in your about page, then you can go ahead and check this one contact page and for this one over here. So we already set up five pages here. And of course, you can also adjust the delay of this light box to pop up. It's better that we put it 50 second or one minute so that your visitor are able to explore and look your website before this subscribe newsletter pop up. So just close it. So this is the Wix forms. And over here, you can also change or add more question here if you like to. So you can add a new field. So just click on add new field. So right now we have this one to enter the email. And you also have here if you want to ask for the first name and the last name. So you can just click add and add this one. Add a recapture. So something like that, for example. And of course, you can also adjust your image here. And of course, we can also change our image. So I will go ahead and make our image more darker. I will click the adjust. And over here, you can change the brightness of the image and click save. All right, so now we have a darker image over here. And I guess that's all for today's video. And thank you so much for watching.